Hi, this is an example problem from chapter 26 on images from a converging lens. Pause for a moment to read the question. All right, so we're going to have a uh, converging lens. It's got a 10 centimeter focal length. To understand and visualize all the different locations of things, I like to always draw a picture of it. So I've already put a principal axis there. And a converging lens is one that has this shape. So let me go ahead and draw that. So there's the shape of our converging lens. And uh, what's really important, however, is the center of the lens, because everything's measured from the center when we use the equation. All right, so we can go ahead and put on some of the uh, other things that we know. So let's say uh, from here to here, here's your focal point F. And so we know now that the focal length from here to the center of the lens, this is uh, 10 centimeters. And uh, the focal length for a, uh, we'll check on the sign conventions for this, and then we're going to go ahead and put an object at 15 centimeters. So here's your object, O. And if we look at the uh, distance here, again, from the center of the lens, doesn't matter whether it's above the lens or not. So here's DO for the object. And I'm going to go ahead and draw our object as we typically do, an arrow. There it is. And we also know what the object is. It's uh, placed 15 centimeters. Let's double check on the sign conventions for these for lenses. So, okay, great. We get to use the same equations as we did for mirrors. We know that for lenses. But let's check out the sign conventions. Notice that the side where the object is at, that's the front of the lens. And uh, the back is the side opposite the object. Now, if we scroll down for a second here, we'll learn a few things here about the sign conventions. So our symbols for the object distance, image distance, and the focal length. First of all, if it's a converging lens, this is a converging lens in this picture, it's going to be positive F. So we used a positive for F, 10 centimeters, positive, good. For the, the object location, if in front it's positive, well, for a single lens, the object's always going to be on the front side, so that's always going to be positive. So we're good there. And when we get to the image location, well, if the image is in the front, same as the object, it's going to be negative, whereas if it's in the back, it'll be positive. So we'll, we'll remember these things uh, as we do this problem. So we know that this is positive. And uh, in part A, we're, we're asked to calculate what is the, uh, to locate the image, that means figure out the image distance di. So we, again, we're going to go ahead and use the equation for thin lenses. So 1 over di plus 1 over do is equal to 1 over f. And we want to go ahead and solve this for di. So 1 over di is equal to 1 over f minus 1 over do. We have all the numbers, so that's going to be 1 divided by 10 centimeters minus 1 divided by 15 centimeters. That gives us a value of uh, 0 0.033 repeating over centimeters. Now, of course, we are looking for di. We need to take the reciprocal of that, so 1 divided by this number. That comes out to plus 30 centimeters. Now I notice this doesn't ask us to calculate the magnification, but I'm going to go ahead and do that. So the magnification of this one, we see we can use uh, this formula, minus di over do, since we just solved for di. So we've got a negative. 30 centimeters and a positive 15 centimeters, which is going to give us minus 2.0. So there's our magnification there. That's going to help us answer the questions in the rest of part A. So it asks us, state whether it's real or virtual, inverted or upright, and enlarged or reduced in size. So we can answer some of these right away. Uh, we can say, uh, Let's see, uh, because of the minus sign here, this means it's inverted. Uh, 
because of the uh, magnification 2.0, that means it's enlarged. And to figure out the uh, whether it's real or not, we can go back and look real quick here. The front side, virtual side, the back side, real side, DO, uh, DI is positive. So this is real. And again, that's because uh, we've got it on the front side. Now, if we want, we can go ahead and ray trace this thing. I'm going to go ahead and use purple to do this to kind of get an idea. We've got three special rays, one which starts from, from the object. I'm going to always start from the tip. It hits the, uh, it goes parallel to the lens, and then it's going to go back down through the focal length. So this needs to be accurate when you do this. So there's our symmetric focal length. And uh, I'm kind of just guessing on this. So oh, that's a little off there. That's off. There we go. That's one of your special rays. Another one starts at the tip and goes through the center of the lens. There it is. So, and then uh, finally, another one goes through the focal point. And when it hits the lens, then it goes straight. And so you can kind of see that we localize the point where the image is at here. So that's the image tip of the arrow. So if we want to draw that image here, I'm going to use green for it. It's going to kind of look like this. And we can see that uh, it is indeed on the uh, back side, so it's real. And uh, it does look like it's about 30 centimeters away. And uh, it's, you know, maybe about twice as large. Again, if you do this with a, really accurately with a graph paper ruler, you'll actually uh, get it exactly because it is all geometric. We're going to look at part B here. So let me set up a principal axis, and I'll set up an object at 10 centimeters away. Okay, so for part 10, I've gone for part B, I've gone ahead and uh, set this thing up. So again, the same 10 centimeter focal length. But now the object has also been placed at the focal length, uh, focal point of this lens. And so we can go ahead and calculate some stuff. So let's go ahead. We know we're going to calculate the uh, image distance. So we can kind of just use this formula that we've already gotten from before. And let's put in our values. So 1 over f, f is 10 centimeters, minus 1 over do, that's also 10 centimeters. What's that going to come out to? We are going to get a 1 over di equals 0, or in other words, di equals 1 divided by 0. What's that? That is infinity. So di in this case is equal to infinity. What's the magnification? Well, let's check it and see. Probably guessed this already. Minus di over do. That's going to be a minus infinity divided by, who cares what we put down here? Well, we'll put 10 centimeters. It's still going to be minus infinity, right? All right, so what does that mean? Well, let's go ahead and move this a little bit here. And we'll go ahead and just try to ray trace this real quick. So there's a negative sign here. That, of course, means it's inverted. And uh, let's ray trace this thing. So if I start here from the tip, I go parallel. Then I'm going to uh, bend through the lens. Get that a little better. And I'm going to go straight through the focal point, kind of like that. Let's do another one that goes from the tip. And uh, when you pass straight through the center of the lens, lens, you don't bend at all. There you go. So we can see now that these two rays here, these things are just essentially, these are parallel. They're never going to meet. Well, 
they'll go infinitely far before they meet, right? So di, it's way over there. That's why it's at infinity. And the height of this thing, of course, right? Well, as far as you keep going down towards infinity, this thing grows forever, right? So it's got an infinite height as well. Um, so that's what we have for the for this problem. Let's just go ahead and double check real quick here um, if we got the uh, the things right. So for this one, we've got uh, this is certainly real. It's on the back. It's uh, inverted. That's the negative sign on the magnification, and uh, it's enlarged. It's very much enlarged. And so uh, this is something that we do when we're trying to do like telescopes or microscopes. We like to put things close to the focal point because you get really big magnification. Um, let's check in part A. We have the uh, object. Um, here's the focal point, and two times the focal point is about here. So this object right here, this guy, is halfway, it's in between F and 2F. We said real, inverted, enlarged. Again, we can check this. We go back down to the characterizations for images. And if we look at uh, converging lens, here's one that is between 2F and F. And uh, we see that it is real, inverted, enlarged, exactly as we uh, expected here. And of course, if you take this image, push it closer to F, that's just going to push this thing further, further out and make it bigger and bigger and bigger and further and further away. And uh, if you actually cross over F, right, that's what we saw in part B, work right at F. If you cross over to F, um, wrong way. So once you go inside F, all of a sudden it flips backwards and then you get a virtual image. So part B is right at the intersection, crossover point between those two.